From shopping to decorating to cleaning up, holiday entertaining can be stressful, but one part that shouldn't be, happy, happy hour. hour. That's right. So lifestyle expert JJ Karras is here with easy ideas that will impress your guests. Yes. yes. JJ. I'm so excited to be here. Tonight is such a huge entertaining night, right? Oh, true. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So listen, ladies, there is nothing sweet about this first cocktail, okay? okay? This is the Grinch, okay? The Grinch. I'm going to pass them Ooh, to you. Look. Because I am so, so excited you for you to try you this. put this little bow on here? Yeah, so this is just a green boa. The glasses Huge. I just got at World okay. Market, and I just DIY'd with glue dots. I did, my That's mom did tell color. me never to drink a neon drink. Okay, so like, I want your Let them. me tell you what this is made of. <laughs> this is a gin-based cocktail, oh, okay? It's okay. equal parts gin. Let's see, it's equal parts gin. Mm. You get the green mm. from green ch chartreuse, mm. which is a liqueur. I know. I, know. Listen, Listen, I don't like gin. Listen, it's not your don't fault. Don't have too much or you'll end up on the naughty it's list, like, okay? It tastes very I'm grimy already, And then something. you yeah. put it in the cocktail shaker, so that's equal parts. And it's maraschino liqueur also. And then shake you just it shake up. it up, okay. and we get um, we get Grinchy out of here. That'll get you. Yeah. That will get you Grinchy. Okay. I'll tell yeah, you that much. This, oh. Yeah, this, yeah, be careful. <laughs> okay, so I like a the next way, this is perfect way to dress up your martini, okay? We have Rudolph. This is the Rudolph, okay? Cute. So you just take oh. a martini glass, maraschino Cute. cherry for the nose, and then two cinnamon sticks for the antlers, okay? okay. okay? And he's just made up of vanilla vodka, um, white chocolate liqueur, and a little cream. So Here all we these go, go in? Yeah, so all those are, yeah, go ahead. Help make, okay. make a cocktail, ladies. Yes, it's a fun not? time. And then we just shake them up. Okay, and that's you it, freeze huh? it or not? Um, no, you don't need to freeze it. Give it a shake. And then okay. look, we're going to demo. Cute. You have to pour it up? Sure. Nose. And then the two antlers are the cinnamon sticks. Okay. You just, just put a little slice. Look at it. See, look at you. You could do this cool. tonight for friends, right? Yeah. Nice. You look just need you. that. You need that square and then the glass. Antlers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the square Cute. glass is great. Okay. okay. All right, now we cannot have this segment without a little eggnog, right? <laughs> and so isn't that so that's cute. cute? So this cute. is the drunk gingerbread. He does gingerbread look a little drunk. Drink. Okay. So you bake your gingerbread, mm -hmm. but before he's totally formed, you take him out and then you squish him oh, down. You push him in. oh, uh, uh, into, so um, into the glass. And, and then ladies, we're just gonna pour a little eggnog. eggnog. And it's Do you eggnog. like eggnog? Do you drink really. it? <laughs> Not like I feel like you're going to get the Rudolph. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have the Rudolph. Well, if you're okay, at try. home and you can either do store bought nut or yes. store bought eggnog, mm -hmm. or go ahead if you want to make yourself. Okay. But use a nutmeg seed okay. and grind it. Cool. Over. Yeah, that because that's right. the extra. That, that gives it the extra Take touch it to the end. Yes. Yes. All right, Let's Cody. talk about this. Look to make Santa's visit really memorable. This is cute. Okay, these are cookie dough shooters, non-alcoholic. Your kids will oh, love cute. these. So you just get a popover pan or whatever you have, and then. This is store-bought cookie dough. Yes. You just press store-bought cookie dough about a fourth of so an inch like thick. And pan? bake it. This is actually a popover. Oh. It's a popover tin. Okay. 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 And then, look at, there's look, these little cookie dough cute. shooters. Look at that. Teaching our children. That's and cute. the best way to do it is to bite a little bit and then sip. Bite a little bit and uh -huh. then sip. Okay. And look, cute. what a sweet holiday, right, guys? Mm. Isn't that right. so sweet? Happy we, holiday. Thank you. So happy happy, happy oh, cocktail thanks, hour. Thank All right. You. We're going to be enjoying some special munchies in just a moment. But first, a quintessential holiday favorite, the candy cane. 1.8 billion are made in the U.S. every year. So we decided to take a special look at the family favorite, candy confection. This is Santa's sweet spot. A wonderland of sugar and spice and everything nice. Founded in 1920 as a small local Denver sugar shop, Hammond's Candies is one of the remaining confectioners still making candy canes by hand. We produce 36 different flavors, peppermint and cherry, cinnamon. Then we start getting into the apple pies, chocolate. In a given year, close to 8 million candy canes are cooked and cut right here. It's a 90-minute process that starts with a boiling mixture of corn syrup, water, and sugar. Pulling. Stretching, folding and molding the candies into sheep. The day after Christmas, we're making candy canes to sell for the following holiday. The origins of the candy cane can be traced back as far as the 17th century. But modern folklore suggests Christian symbolism, color likened to Christ's purity, the shape, a shepherd's crook, one they would have carried on the way to meet baby Jesus. But for some, these sugar sticks represent nostalgia. Candy canes are timeless, they're classic, and I hope when someone opens one up this Christmas and takes a taste of it, reminds them of a better time. The most wonderful time of the year. 
They are the best. Okay, you're in the mood now for something sweet. We have got the perfect guest. Zane Holmquist is the head chef at Stein Erickson Lodge in Park City, Utah. Going to whip up some festive treats and drinks. Zane, good to see you. Merry nice Christmas. See you. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Okay, I... Bark. Bark. Yes. Yeah, let's have them in bark. Everyone makes bark. So you <laughs> have to have a little bark. We melted some white chocolate. Really okay. simple recipe. Mm -hmm. And then a few drops of peppermint syrup. Do you use that because that's not enough it, flavor? It's just going to give it a little more punch, a little okay. more zing. And uh -huh. once you have that, we're going to go right into this little wax paper dish. Right. So white chocolate first. White chocolate Ooh, you first. Can smell the peppermint. Comes right out. Mm -hmm. And then if you take a little bit of that dark chocolate and pour it right on top. Okay. And we'll create this little marbling effect. Simple enough. So really fun, easy recipe for the kids. Mm -hmm. Super fun, great to throw in a bag and take take to the neighbors. And then you just swirl it and around. And then you create this little swirl. Voila. Pour some and on top. Finish with our candy canes. We just came from our candy cane <laughs> uh, our candy cane segment. And so you'll great fun. Give it about an hour. Voila, you have bark that's ready, to, ready to go. You know, a homemade present, a home crafted present. It is People simple, love. easy, and, and the kids will and go crazy is for the it. Best part. Yes. Do you make that or freeze it or what? Yeah, what's happening? No, it's, it, it'll well, set up and just be crispy. It's hard chocolate. Yeah. It's hard chocolate. Yeah. It sets so up. once yeah. it comes to room temperature, you're By the way, you're delicious. Rich. I know. Excellent. We're the peanut Heather. gallery. Uh -huh. That is really Some good. Some good snacking stuff now. I love this popcorn. So, so we, this is a great recipe, again, you can make in the morning. It's mm -hmm. really easy to do. Snickerdoodles, kind of that 1960s idea, really fun. We mm -hmm. pop some popcorn, right. easy to do, great for the kids. Uh -huh. We've taken a little bit of sugar and a little bit of corn syrup. We've, we've gone ahead and, and melted that. This is the part mm -hmm. where you don't get the kids to engage. I'll finish with a little bit of butter. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we create this caramel, it's just getting the color, a little vanilla. Uh -huh. mm. And we work the vanilla in, so a great caramel, easy. And then we're going to go right over our popcorn. Oh. oh, that's so good. So that's the easy part. Now we're going to hand yeah, it in, in, in the bag. So we go, we go into the bag. Oh, that And paper bag works great. Mm -hmm. and then, Why and then, paper bag? Just because well, it's big? Well, it's Yeah, I'm going to dump this in if you can oh. give it a... So we've got, we've got butter dutch, uh, butterscotch chips, peanut butter chips, Crushed pretzels, chopped peanuts. Yummy. So we do have those those allergies. And for the vegans, we put in some butternut squash. Absolutely. <laughs> you can switch that up. Uh, give that a good, give that a good shape. And this is the fun part. For I the love kids. this idea. So easy enough. And then you pour it out. Out on out on the wow. out on the paper. Kids will go nuts for that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. fine. And then we want to let it cool just a little bit. Oh, so we we, we kind of break it up, and those cool. those chips will all melt. Voila. And let this cool for a little bit. It's really hot right now. Let those chips all give a chance to melt. Mm -hmm. Simple, easy, and, and another voila. Good homemade gift. Snickerdoodle pan, uh, popcorn ready for Christmas morning. Now, what's this drink mm -hmm. we're doing? So we're going we're gonna to make a gingerbread hot chocolate. So mm -hmm. it's white chocolate base with all those fun gingerbread pieces to it. So mm -hmm. I've warmed up some milk, some right. half and half, a really pretty simple recipe, mm -hmm. but some tricky parts that give you that flavor. Molasses. Oh, so okay. if you... A few tablespoons of, of molasses, mm -hmm. a little vanilla, yeah. mm -hmm. and then we've got clove, anise, uh, bay leaf, a little bit of uh, a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and then some ground ginger. That ground ginger really gives you that that punch. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it, it, just give it a few minutes now, just to infuse those flavors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So really pretty simple. And once this is going, we're gonna pour it over uh, three three cups. Or so of, of white chocolate chip. Wow. OMG. Wow. wow. I'm assuming you use the strainer so none of the. You, so you get all those cloves and things uh, out. Nice. Ooh. That is and rich. That is rich. <laughs> and then, Al, if you give that a little bit of a stir while I add this, a few tablespoons of brown sugar. Oh, mm. Well, that looks and that's it. And that's it. Really simple. You know, you've got this really beautiful, intense, intense, and rich I love flavor. The you used Could you put a little rum in there? <laughs> I, well, I, I prefer the bourbon. So oh, get bourbon. It, <laughs> a little bourbon. So you can do an alcoholic version or a non-alcoholic mm -hmm. version okay. just to get you through the holidays. Oh, wow. Finish with some crushed. Uh, gingerbread candies mm, and some marshmallows mm. and and your favorite hot chocolate thank for the you, season. Sir. It is. Oh, oh, thank you. And then we have one. We did oh, one more this? quick drink. Oh, wow. So we're, we're calling this the Vermont Sleigh Ride. So Ooh. a little bit of warm milk, a little bit of uh, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of uh, maple to give mm. you that. And you, can, and you can go. You can go a little bourbon in this one. <laughs> uh, so it, it adds a little happy to the holidays. I'll say. What?
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And if you'd like to make some of these delicious recipes and you're still sober, stay. Just go to today.com slash food.